Namaste. Welcome to the course Yoga for Immunity. The yoga lessons in this course are a blend of authentic yoga with Vasudeva Kriya Yoga. This program is designed for all levels of practitioners to build up their immunity. Before we start, let's have a look at the basic guidelines for yoga practice. Always practice yoga on a yoga mat spread on a leveled floor where comfortable loose apparel to facilitate easy movement. Early morning with empty bowel and bladder is the best mode of practice. For the evening schedule, about 2 to 3 hours after lunch is also suitable, provided no additional food is taken in between. Showering just before and after yoga is not recommended. If you are injured or undergoing any medical treatment, Consult the doctor prior to the practice. If a pose or pranayama in this program is not accessible for you, don't push yourself beyond your limits. Instead, work up to it and will be gradually attained over time. If you feel weak, consume small amount of honey in lukewarm water. Do not continue the practice if you sense pain with a specific pattern. For the best results, the lessons should be followed from the beginning to the end. After the yogic practice, be in Shavasana for 10 minutes till you retain your normal breath. Each session should start with a bowing down before the Supreme Lord. The basic sequence consists of Siddhalikarna Vyayama, Asana, Pranayama and Shavasana. Siddhalikarna Vyayama are to make joints and muscles flexible, performed with normal speed and repetitions. It is followed by the specific Asana for the day. After performing asanas, the energy flows freely and it is the best time to sit in for pranayama. The session will end up with shavasana, position of rest and relaxation. So let's delve deeper into the practice. Postures can be classified into four Tadasana or standing postures, Dandasana or sitting postures, Prawn lie down on the stomach, and Supine lie on the back. Standing Relaxation Posture Siddhila Tadasana Stand erect with legs about 6 to 12 inches apart, hands hanging freely by the side of the body with the shoulders collapsed. Make sure that the body is completely relaxed. Gently close the eyes. Inche Standing Posture Stiti Tadasana Standing erect with feet close together. Place the hands along the thighs with fingers stretched out. The legs, trunk, and the head are aligned in a straight line. Close the eyes and observe the balance. Sitting Relaxation Posture Siddhila Dhandhasana Sit with the legs stretched apart and relax. Slightly incline the trunk backwards. Supporting the body by placing the hands behind. Fingers point backwards. Let the head hang freely behind. Or rest on either side of the shoulder. Gently close the eyes. Incha sitting posture Stiti Dhandasana. Sit with both legs stretched with heels together. Place 
the palms on the floor by the side of the buttocks. Keep the spine, neck and head erect. Close the eyes. Relaxation Prone Posture Siddhila Makarasana Lie down on the abdomen with feet wide apart. Heels touching the ground and facing each other. Bend both elbows and place the right palm on the left shoulder and the left palm on the right shoulder. Press the chin at the point where the forearms cross each other. Gently close the eyes. Initial prone posture Stiti Makarasana. Lie down on the abdomen with the legs together. Toes pointing outwards, the soles of the feet facing up and chin touching the ground. Stretch the hands straight above the head. Biceps touching the ears and palms resting on the ground. Gently close the eyes. Relaxation Supine Posture Shavasana Lie supine on the ground with the hands and feet apart. Slightly stretch the body and allow the whole body to relax completely with eyes gently closed. Become aware of different parts of the body starting from toes to head. Feel the spread of relaxation in all parts of the body progressively. With regular long practice, the relaxation will become deeper, natural and spontaneous. The whole body is relaxed to the extent that one forgets the body. The mind experiences full rest. Supine Posture Stiti Supine Lie down on the back with the legs together. Stretch the hands straight above the head. Biceps touching the ears and the palms facing the ceiling. Close the eyes. Warm up before the practice helps in loosening the muscles that are stiff so that you can maneuver in yoga poses gracefully and effectively. A warm up is also necessary to limber up the body to avoid injury. Siddhalikane Vyayama involves breathing sequence, inhale and exhale as we stretch out the arms. Hand stretch breathing. Hand stretch breathing involves the breathing sequence inhale and exhale as we stretch out the arms. Stand erect with feet together. Hands relaxed by the side of the body. Interlock the fingers and place the palm on the chest. Collapse your shoulders. Stage 1 Horizontal. While inhaling, stretch and twist out the interlocked arms horizontally, facing the palm outwards. Fully stretch the arms but do not strain. Now, while exhaling, reverse the process 
and bring the palms back onto the chest. Relax your shoulders again. This is one round. Repeat five times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Stage 2 at 135 degrees. Repeat the same movements. Now inhale and stretching the arms above the forehead at an angle of 135 degrees from the ground. Inhale. Exhale. Palms back onto the chest. Repeat five times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Stage 3 Vertical Repeat the same movements this time. Inhale and stretching the arms vertically above the head. Exhale. While moving up and down, the palms may gently touch the nose tip. Repeat 5 times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Relax the shoulders at the beginning and end of each cycle. Exhalation of breathing out should be longer than the inhalation of breathing in. If required, it can be practiced sitting on a chair too. Maintain perfect awareness of the breathing. Properly synchronize the breathing with hand movements. The leg kick is a great warm-up pattern for legs and glute. It increases lower body and core strength. Also improves the flexibility of the hamstrings. Leg kicks Stand in Tadasana. Lift the right leg up. Hamstring parallel to the ground. 
Keep ankle flexed and push through your heel. Kick right foot forward. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Place the right foot down. For the complementary practice, switch to left. Lift the left leg up. Hamstring parallel to the ground and left foot forward. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Gently place the left foot down. Continue to repeat for 10 counts. Stand in Stiti. Right side for the count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Shoulder warm up. Stand up with your arms beside the body. With inhalation, raise the right shoulder to the ear. And with exhalation, lower the shoulder. Repeat on the other side. Inhale and exhale. Repeat the process five times on each side. Inhale, exhale. 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 Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Both shoulders together. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Our daily practices of yoga starts with Siddhalikanya Vyayama or loosening practices. Loosening exercises or regular stretches are a set of practices intended to increase mobility of joints and to prepare for the practice of yoga postures. These preparatory practices before asana helps to eliminate energy blockages. Regular stretches helps your body release all that kind of stress. By relaxing and loosening our muscles, we can maintain better control over blood pressure, avoid chronic muscle pain and keep our immune system ready for anything. Siddhalikana Vyayama or these simple yogic patterns of warm-up can be worked into your day in short periods of time. Always build up slowly and work within your limits. Over time, you will spot benefits. Namaste.